Welcome to the Olympic Boulevard here in Melbourne. We're here today to find some brick walls around all the stadiums to test out the brand new Rugby Bricks Rebound Trainer. We're really excited to have teamed up with Gilbert Rugby. This ball is absolute quality. It's match ball weight. It's also got a small, smooth surface here at the end, which means that when you bounce it off the wall, it gives you a really true straight bounce straight back to yourself. It's also got that beautiful Gilbert valve right in the middle of the seam. So we're gonna go find some walls and get into a few exercises. The first drill we're going to get through is a front on wrist flick drill. It's all about getting both hands putting energy through the ball. So our front thumb is really important to create that spin. We want to start that one up about the midline of the ball near the end of the rebound ball trainer. So the other hand, just make sure that we've got a little bit of space in there between our palm and the ball so that it's more fingertippy on the ball. Starting position in front of the body, in front of that belly button, we're going to shoot out. Both hands are going to finish palms down and we're going to be looking through those fingertips tips to target. Make sure that the rest of your body is nice and engaged just like when you set up to squat. Energy on nice and strong through that core. The second drill we're going to do is now talking about our front hip and our back hip. So we want to keep those same principles with our hand placement, the energy going through the ball. We're going to start off by passing from my front hip. And we want to be nice and high on the hip rather than low. So on that nice hip bone, have it up at that height. Energy through the ball, we're going to be punching out. The key thing here is to bring a little bit of core rotation and power to the pass. So rather than leaving my body here and passing, I want to bring that power and energy through my upper body. So passing from that front hip, using the wall, punch out. Same thing, look through those fingertips and you follow through. Passing from the front hip. I'll just talk about over rotation. One of the key things that I see with passing is over rotation. So starting from that front hip, letting the hands really rotate out of the pass. We wanna be strong enough to stop our follow through at the target. So from here, punch and stop our follow through where we wanna to get to. That's why front hip, back hip drills are really good. It teaches us where to finish our follow through. So we just got through front hip passing from here. Now we're going to get heaps more energy and be able to use more of our bicep and our pec to rip through the pass going from the back hip. Again, don't get too low on it. We don't want it down on our thigh. We want it nice and high on that hip bone. Reason being is that's where we catch normally. So the closer we can pass from that catch position, rather than having to dip and then find power, if we can catch and start transferring straight away, we'll be a lot stronger. So from that back hip, again, bring all that core rotation and energy and punch through. Finish looking through those fingertips. <laughs> Getting into one of my favorite drills now, the pistol drill. Now, when we're starting out, we want to be just inside the hip joint rather than outside the body. So just nice there, high on the hip. I don't mind if the ball actually goes out and you feel the ball load up and you feel it and get that nice roll effect. From there, we can bring it in instead of going around the body, punching out. But for a start, if, especially if you're younger and have smaller hands, it's okay to have that little bit of rotation just so you feel the ball and get that nice spin on the pass. So starting here, again, we're going to punch out, turn that hand over, look through that fingertips on the side. Other hands just on the off hip, punching through. Sweet. 
So we just got through front-on pistol drill standing front onto the wall. Now we're going to get into side-on pistol drill. Now what tends to happen here is we get that really ball get away from our body. We still want to pass through that one plane and get our chest through the target. So try not to really over-rotate and come around the body. From that back hip position, we want to punch straight out and then look through that follow-through. We're going to start with our other hand up where we want to get to in the follow-through, looking through those fingertips. From that high hip position, punch out and meet that other hand with your, other, with your passing hand. Back hip, nice and strong body, cores on, punch out. Next drill we're going to get through is pop to pass, so all we're going to do is give ourselves a little pop. I want to try to catch this ball perfectly so I can start passing straight away. So as the ball's in the air, think about how you want to be landing that front thumb, backhand ready to go, so I can get straight into that pass. So you can practice that a few times, make sure you're ready to go, catching the ball perfect. From there, as soon as we've caught that ball, I want you to start transferring straight across your body and get into your passing motion. Again, let's not go out and round, let's just catch straight through that passing channel and get into it. Feet nice and square for this first set. All we're doing is popping, passing. Look through those fingertips. Pop. Really important to catch that ball perfect. Get into your pass. Let's not over rotate. Catch and go. Oosh. Nice. Security guard's coming. Same drill now, we've still got that little pop, but I want to pass off my inside foot. So we're going to change up whether we're off the inside foot, outside foot, or even mid-stride. Three different variations. The catch of the ball is still the exact same, let's catch the ball clean. But I want to land on that inside foot nice and small and square, and then get into my pass. So little, little pop to yourself, inside foot and pass. Little pop. As you can see, I'm passing off that inside foot. One thing that tends to happen is this inside foot really rotates. You can see my hips and chest are at the wall. I want to try to keep these square and pass, and it's just my upper body that rotates. Catch, bang, keep that foot nice and square. The reason we do that is so that I can dummy and then get straight into my work straight away. One more, catch perfect. So we just did our inside foot, which is the one we generally want to pass off, but in the game of rugby, we have to be able to pass on the move off any foot so that we can release our outside backs. Now we want to pass off our outside foot, so it's a little bit more awkward. We're going across our body, but we have to have the ability to do it, especially on these seven, 10 meter pass. Same principle, catch perfect. Pass off that inside foot. Still get that follow through, look through those fingertips. Catch nice and high, pass straight away. One thing we want to avoid is catch, pause, pass. As soon as our hands are on that ball, just start that passing motion. And now to bring a bit more balance to the pass, all we're going to do is lift the foot and then pass off that. So inside or out, can we have enough balance to control it? So a little pop, lift the foot and pass. A little pop, passing off one foot. Really got to control our body on that one. Another drill we can do is work on our offloads. So if you think about that out the back of the hand offload, it's all about being able to hang the ball out there and wait for the right timing to throw it. So with the rebound ball, think about reaching forward. We want to break the tackle and get our body through and then find the offload. Again, change up your footwork, where you're standing, maybe off one leg, hang it out there, find your offload.
two one knee passing drills that I think all players should get through, not just halfbacks. Want to talk about this front foot. It's important that our foot isn't blocking our hips from getting through our follow through. So have that foot nice and open, feel that you can get your chest and your hips going through to target. First drill is passing from your hips, so again nice and tall, don't be too compressed and over the ball. Nice and tall, nice and strong, grip on the ball, all those good things we've already spoken about. From that hip we're going to punch out and get into our follow through. Rather than passing and staying back here, I want you to follow your pass, shift yourself into this front foot. Let's get through a few reps. So we've passed from the hip nice and tall, now we're going to pass from the ground. Again, I think every player should do this, it's not always going to be the halfback who has to pass the ball from the ruck. So getting some reps in from the ground is really good. So nice and tall again, have the ball on the ground already and go down to it with perfect hands ready to pass. Last thing you want to do is pick the ball up ugly, have to rearrange and take time. So ball's on the ground, have it sitting there, go down, pick it up perfectly and get into our pass. Same thing, shift into that front foot, follow through, look for look through your fingertips. Really good one for us halfbacks. Stay tall, use your hip power, get into your follow through, look through those fingertips. One more rep, stay. So even with the rebound ball, if we do have a partner, family member, brother, sister, mum, dad, they can still help us with our fast transfer pass. So even if they just lob you the ball, we can still practice getting into that fast transfer and passing. Even if they can spiral, same thing. Catch, get into your passing work, off a pass. One more. Eee. 